something like out. Howdy how. Um, so today I'm working on, so this is a workshop I'm doing. And I'm working on the site that um, each attendee is going to get essentially. Um, so they're going to get a, a web pack of sorts. There it is. So it's going to have all the bits and pieces in it. Um, all the itineraries, all the links to slides and worksheets and stuff. And then the actual project itself, the style guide, the component library, all going to go in here. So what I'm doing now is I'm just um, carving it out in a Leventy. Um, and the whole idea is then that people will just be working inside of this. So there's a couple of things that will help with that. Um, one being that because it's a workshop, if they need some help, they can click that and it'll essentially bring up a little chat window so they can chat to me and um, I can either chat through it with them there and then or um, they can, I can set up a breakout room in Zoom or whatever and do some screen sharing with them. And then there's the, and a box here for them to add, ask a question. Now I think this is going to be really important because say you're in a workshop with like up to a hundred attendees essentially the thought of asking a question um, in front of all those people might be quite daunting um, so I'm just giving people the opportunity to throughout the day or outside of the workshop um, up until the end of it is basically um, ask a question and they can ask it anonymously with one as well and then I'll when I do each Q&A session at the end of the day I can go through them as well so, where are we at? So I'm just working on the site. Um, oh, Avenge Sevenfold, sharing that. Um, and it's just, um, you see here, I'm using my own course as well. Um, hi there, how you doing? Um, it's one of the best things about writing a course about Levin T is that I've just got constant reference to all this stuff. So, for example, I just like instead of re rewriting the nav pattern, I just thought I'd nick it off my own course. What I'm doing now is I'm um, I'm just mocking the data at the moment, but I'm going to build this. Um, just mark up some bits now. Um, so I'm going to mark up. I'm not going to mark this bit because that'll be a web component. Um, but I am going to mark up the uh, what do you call it? This workshop itinerary business so what I'll do is I will do this um, intro as well we appreciate every layout it's probably what's influenced me the most oh that's really good to hear thanks for that um, that's uh, very nice of you to say every layout has definitely resonated a lot more than we thought it would with people I must say um, a little preview as well, upcoming tutorial, I'm going to teach you all to build this sort of thing as well, like a little stepper, that's going to be a fun one that. Um, so where shall I start? Let's just quickly look back. So what, basically what I do is, um, so I've created like a bit of a look and feel in Figma for myself, um, but the real design work starts now. And I've already started changing things. So, for example, the heading, the title here is it's not very helpful, really, if you go on any other page. So I'm actually just going to put this building design system with cube CSS in the site head. Um, so it'll be uh, act like a like a logo. Almost it's a bit long though, so I'll probably let it break. I'll probably shrink the size of it as well. Um, hey, hey everyone, how you doing? Um, and then what I'll do is essentially um, just cut the change of token on that. Um, so 600, change that token to 500. And then I should shrink that the size of it. And then if I go on config, have I got a measure? Uh, not yet, nah. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that right now then. So first thing I'll do then is I will create an article. Uh, let's create a partial actually. 
nah, let's not bother with that. Um, article class equals intro, and then inside of that, what have we got? It's just a heading and a summary. Easy, easy peasy. Not going to bother um, adding element classes to these. Uh, we'll create what should we do? Should we have the content? The content here. Uh, oh, it's um, safe in non drugs, isn't it? Uh, did it. Oops. Um, and did that again. I shouldn't have any content um, at the moment. I'm going to grab that. Um, have I broken something? What's going down in here? Then, welcome to the workshop. Yeah, something's certainly not working here. Should I just give it a little re rerun? So that's gold running. Ah, there it is. It was just uh, a eleven to crashing out of it. Howdy how? Nasty Director Zero Three. <laughs> That's a good, good name, right? So, uh, uh, uh. welcome to the workshop. This is your yeah. I'm not going to have the names anymore. Um, the reason I was going to have the names is I was going to, I was going to do this. This needs some help, which I'm actually not going to build it like that. I'm just going to have this partial here like this um, and then what I was going to do I was just going to do a little um, a little what do you call it a uh, web socket thing and so I was going to the first thing you were going to do when you got your your web pack like this was it's going to ask you what your name was and then it would for, for everything that you do after that it would do it but I don't need to do that anymore so sort of removes quite a bit of potential technical debt which is good Okay, so that was easy. And then, like I said, this is gonna be, I'm gonna build this with a web component. Um, because essentially what, what, what it will do is it'll, um, the first thing I'll do, and I might build that today actually while we're on. The first thing I'll do is render the itinerary out on a page using this data source. What I might also do is render a JSON file um, with that same data. I'm doing it with JavaScript data file at the moment because um, potentially what I'm going to do is actually keep the itinerary in a spreadsheet and then pull it in. And, um, like Google Sheets API, it's really useful for that. Because this is only, it's not just going to be for smashing, I'm going to do this workshop um, next year, I think, as well, a couple of times. Um, so I need the flexibility really um, and yeah so the what I'll do now is I'll quickly render this on the page and then and I will do this as a little partial actually so the first thing we'll do is we'll create a partial uh, includes we've we got partials yet yeah there we not just do HTML Itinerary, it's a word I just can't spell. Uh, and then we'll fire it up. And so we've got a heading, um, and then we've got basically X amount of articles we'll do this as. 
and then the then you got a heading in each article and then a, an, an ordered list and inside each ordered list we've just got like a block of content really um so let's go for each one so we don't need to bother using the section because it's uh, there's a really good Bruce Lawson article about it actually I think it's on Smashing Magazine um, about sectioning and stuff like that um, and we do use sections far too often I'm not going to need a container in here so I've already got my usual wrapper in there and then what I'll do is first of all it's, it's going to be a H2 I'm not going to worry about that icon for now and then we'll do itinerary title. Well, so I'll have to set that on the page. So I'll do that quickly now. So we're gonna set that straight in the front now. Um, whole workshop. Like that, save him. And, um, and then what we need to do is we need to grab that data. So because we're using a data file, we should have access to just itinerary in the thing. So we'll say um, for item in itinerary. First, we'll just check that that's working. Um, item dead. Um, and what we'll do here. So I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I do everything. Um, everything is done with, um, I do everything in HTML first when I build a site. So I'll build this entire thing before I even do any real CSS. I'll do the whole thing as like a vanilla HTML site and then I'll start adding stuff into it, like styles, because that's a progressive enhancement and the JavaScript is another progressive enhancement. So I'll build it as if I need to, to make sure that the experience for each level of enhancement is cared for. I think I might do these as a little ordered list. Um, well, no, just in here, we'll just do a, a list I am. Yeah, it's definitely broken. Uh, 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 hmm. Ah, no, it isn't because I didn't even include it on the page. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? So I can just uh, include partials itinerary .html. Mm -hmm. That feels like it's something didn't work. Why did that not work then? Mm -hmm. oh, so that worked. See, so includes partials to my brand of debugging. Ah, oh, there it is. Weird. It's been a bit weird. It's, um, uh, and uh, the, is my um, local version of 11.2 today? Ah, it's sessions, that's why. Um, still not digging it. Mm -hmm. Just check my does actually. Um, uh, uh, Shall I don't need to do that? Ah, uh, yeah. Mm, so it's there. Just not playing. Um, not playing at all today. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, class. Oh no, so he's sleeping it. So he's he's picking the data up. It's just me being a being a fool. Um, okay. Um, uh, uh, uh. Sessions dirt map dead. That's probably just gonna give me object object, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Wonder why the dirt's not working then. as well. Let's see what it's saying. Sessions. Object, 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 object. Yes, the dirt is working fine. Which is fair, I don't even need to do that. I could actually just do a return an array. Uh, mm. partial item in our itinerary that should get us back to object object yeah and then I wonder if I wrote data instead of data because I do that all the time no it's really not having it is it really weird I wonder why that is doing that Dates map date and then just do test equals lol. It's not picking up. It's not picking it up. So I'll do as we'll do a little bit of debugging. Um, just create myself an actual helper. Mm -hmm. I could do this as a filler as well, but this is just quicker. Um, and then do helpers. String if I now let's do item. Ah, uh, oh. oh, it's me. Oh, what am I doing here then? So, so why is it in a in an array? An array. Hmm. Interessant. Cool. Well, it's, it is me being a fool, then. But I think we are. We all knew that already. Ah, oh, that's why. Good grief! I can tell I've not had enough coffee today. No, uh, no, that was wrong. That's the wrong one. Date. Where was the right one? Oops.
uh, uh, what? That's a valid object. Unless this is it. Yeah, no, that's valid. What is going on? I've got no idea what I'm doing today. It's because I've been working with React all week. My uh, brain's fucking dissolved. Um, what is going on here? Return days map date, yeah. And then for every item, I'm returning back an object. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Silly me. Yeah. There we go. Smooth. What's your beef? Hmm. What's your beef now, Terminal? There we go. Everyone's happy now. Now cooking. Right, so back to programming HTML now. Uh, let's just... Uh, Let's get rid of that helper. Cool. So we'll do item. Well, now I know things are working actually. So we've got an order list, and inside each one of these, um, in fact, no, let's not make these a list. Let's make this a collection of articles. And then, do you remember an article is not just like a blog post, an article is a, an article of content. Um, so we're being H3 territory now, and we'll say, um, we'll just do the date. I'm just going to dump the date down. I'm actually going to format the date as well. Um, actually, I can use my uh, filter, filter for that. Item date. Date. I'm not having a good time today, am I? Feeling I've found dirt. Ah, it's because it's dirt filter. Third of December 2020, fourth of December 2020. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, if you haven't already bought my course, buy my course because it's smooth as butter. <laughs> it's a lot easier to do it in writing rather than uh, having several people watching your screen. But this is what it looks like when I develop stuff. Don't ever think I actually know what I'm doing. Um, okay, so a whole workshop itinerary. Welcome to the workshop. Okay, and then inside of here, what we'll do is we'll say OL class, and then the class is going to be stepper. So that's what the block's going to be called. So I'll still like add blocks and um, yeah, like CSS classes and stuff like that. Ones that I know. So then I'll say uh, each. Um, session in item items, and then we'll draw a list for each one. So just to check things are working, so session tile doors and greens. So I'm repeating the same data each time at the moment. Um, because it'd just be a waste of energy putting the right stuff in. Hey, it'll dance, yeah. It's, it's how I roll. Uh, programming HTML is my passion. Um, so let's just have a quick look what we've got inside of each stepper item. So you've got dollars and greens, 845. Now what you could do in here, this is an interesting methodology of doing things. So this, this requires quite a lot of visual context, right? We can see that um, each one of these has passed. Now, I'm not going to worry about this too much. What I'm going to do, this is going to be a progressive enhancement. So what I'm going to do with JavaScript is I'll pick each one of these steppers out and then I'll 
Um, essentially what I'll do is I'm going to compare the time against the current time on the day or those in the past or the future. So like use day JS or whatever um, to do that. And that's the same sort of logic would be how it works out what day is today. So if you come onto the workshop and you sign in and it's like day two, so today's itinerary, then it'd be all the um, stuff from today. And then the stepper will show what's already been or what's currently active, etc., etc. So what I'll do in here, in, in, in the spirit of semantics, is use a description list in here. And then what we'll do is we'll visually hide the definition, or the description list title, the DT, and then the, D, the DD is what we'll show in here. And then we can use design tokens to style all the particular elements in there, including like flow space and stuff like that. So do DL and then like that. And so the DT, so the first one will be, um, uh, session so we'll do title DT. Oops, not D. Uh, DT. And then DD is session title. Oh, to total title. DD. So a quick sip of coffee. Um, because I need it today, don't I? I'm not having a right old mare. So then we can follow that with another DT. Now what you can do these days with a description list is you can actually have a div or something in between each item like that, which can make things, laying out things a lot easier. Um, I don't really need, I don't tend to need to do that. I think if you're doing something pretty wild with grid, it might be useful, but um, not for this. This is pretty straightforward stuff. Okay, so we've got, and then we've got time, times, because it's the to and from. So session times, DD. And then we've got a variable um, resources thing. So then we're going to say if session re is it resources? Ah, mm -hmm. oh, link. I'm glad I checked. Session link. So I'm just going to do one link, and that's to say like it's a lecture. It'll link you straight out to the lecture slides if it's a. Uh, Practical, it link out to the worksheet for the practical. Um, so I used to do, um, uh, what do you call it, lecturing at the local uni doing web stuff, and the, these are saying, what's it called? Moodle. God, it's like something from the 90s, but that's the sort of thing that I used to do is just create these sort of sessions for them, and then all the resources for the session would go in there for them. It's really useful for them because then they could come back to it like six months down the line and, um, and pick out like that lecture or whatever that I did for them. So we've got a link and then we'll say session link. Please tell me I used the URL and not um, not link. Yeah, I did. Uh, and then session link text. Like so, and that should give us this lovely little uh, little titles like title. Oh yeah, sorry, it has here. Yeah. Um, fantastico. I wonder if I've got um, I've got flow in here now. What I'll do is I'll just like it totally breaks the rules of um. Uh, do it between each each one at the end of the article. I'll just do a horizontal rule there. Doesn't break any semantics. I can't remember who said it. One uh, it's quite amusing. Someone, someone from the JS world was like, um, 
Move location and anxiety it gave me anxiety too using it. Imagine what it was like on the admin screen. It was horrific. But the the I remember them saying like you shouldn't use a HR for some some bizarre or reason, and it's just like it's like a null element, man. It's just presentation. Anyway, um, so that's it. So, so you can see there, like each day now, it's got a nice sort of definition. So title, doors and greetings, times 8.45 to 9 o'clock, doors and greetings, title. Oh, yeah, that's why it's confusing me. So I'm dumping that out still. Now we're cooking. Title times, title times, link title workshop overview times. And then what you could do is you could have like, um, see the other day then you could you could put like a little area label on it and so, so sessions. Uh, uh, let just give it a little bit more, a little bit more to cook with there. Happy days, everyone's a winner. Let's just do a little commit on that. Um, just do a YOLO commit. Um, intro and itinerary markup. Fabulous. So then, so this would be a, a quick and easy uh, grid job, I reckon. Um, the old, the old um, auto breaking grid. This is a tutorial for that on the particular site. Or I could use the switcher from every layout to do the same, where it's essentially 50-50 and then um, it'll just snap, snap into place um, using the magic of Flexbox. Either or I don't matter. So uh, yeah, I'll try and keep this one to about an hour. So maybe we'll do this form and then we'll be, we'll be off, I think. So I'm gonna make this like a, a global thing. So if I just zoom out, this this is what will be the the thing that we build. It'll be a button. Um, so this will be a web component um, of sorts, I imagine. Um, what I was thinking of doing actually was using Eleven to view, but I don't think I want to um, get into that on the stream. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Zach has made eleven to view uh, let's use it's a work in progress as well because of what I was thinking of doing was treating eleven to a bit like nuxed um essentially um yeah, it's pretty it's pretty smart. It's, it's a really nice little setup, and then you can actually build your front your, these these with view components as well. Um, so I'm thinking about it. I might still do it. It's not going to be a big job to change it. And um, the only reason I'm just doing this like this now is I've essentially just taken a a zip of like lesson lesson. I think it's the magic number is twenty one on this course. Um, is it less than 21? No, it's 20, 23. I can't remember where it is. Let's just do the table of contents. Yeah, there you go. So it is less than 21. You do, you basically, you take a, if you've done the course, if you take a zip of like less than 21, you've, you've essentially got like a, an asset pipeline and unstyled templates. And it's a pretty good start kit for eleven to. And that's essentially what I've done for this. Um, but it would be nice to to use that because because there's going to be quite a few little bits of interactivity. Like there's this um, not sketch. This this um, this is going to be JS driven um, because it's going to be like toggled on and off based on like date and time because obviously I don't want people asking questions like three months after the uh, after the workshop's finished and stuff like that sure, I think about it. and I think this will be actually useful to build a view as well like the actual component library aspect because um, um, really I've got loads of little prototypes for these that I've built already so I've built a little prototype that does this for me I've built a little prototype that does this need some help and the question 
So the process I'm going through now is essentially just stitching it all together and building a site. But yeah. Well, let's see, what, what do you fancy watching me build a form or trying to implement this 11T plugin view? What what do you say? I'll give you give you a minute to to vote on it, whoever's watching. Uh, eleven to be two. <laughs> As if I needed to even even ask. Should we see what we can do with this view in um give myself a, uh, what is it? A, 20, yeah, 20 minutes, see what can happen. Because I'm getting hungry now, I'm, I'm doing that 16 8 fasting, so that's why my um, brain doesn't work as well. All right, you all win. Let's do get check out um, feature view. And I could just dump this if it all goes wrong. High pressure. No, I'm actually going to sit down for this because uh, this is, this is going to require every piece of my uh, brain. Uh, right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see if I can read the instructions. So, installation, I can do that a bit. It's nice and easy. Install that. 0.1x requires uh, requires 11t stable. I'm using 11t 11 stable, so that's fine. Requires experimental features. Ooh, so opt into the experimental features on 11t by running 11t experimental equals true. Okay. While that's doing that. Uh, MPX eleven to serve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Builds view single file components, both in the input directory and in eleven to's includes directory. Word, that's sick. Data from single file components feeds into the data cascade. Good grief, that is useful. All JavaScript template functions, universal filters, universal shortcodes, paired shortcodes available as view methods. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? 11 to supply data is also available globally in all components. Uh huh. Do not work as 11 layouts, but using traditional 11 methods for child contents, VHTML content. Right, that's fine. Tends to be how I use it anyway. I mean, I think even with this setup, I'd still recommend having like a like a base layout. So got like this base layout. This is handy to have and this is like stuff that just doesn't change like if you want to change the title dynamically we've got um js that can do that for us is this a hacktober hackathon now god no do you know what um, i'm not a fan of hacktober um i think it puts so much pressure on open source maintainers unnecessarily and it's not i think it's a great thing to be encouraging people to get into open source but it's, it's the way that hacktober conduct themselves that pisses me off, like um, making people try and win a PR account, which just inevitably results in people submitting garbage PRs. Um, it's just a big marketing exercise for DigitalOcean as well. So, oops. Um, I remember when Gatsby did it, was it a couple of years ago? And they, they ran on the whole, um, everyone build a custom a theme and you can win a conference ticket. And it was it coincided with them releasing their own theme capability. So they were obviously like building up a theme marketplace. Um, and yeah, it was just like 
fucking disgusting, really. Um, maybe Hacktober should be locked to good first issue issues. I think that's a good uh, good call. I think um, PRs shouldn't just be getting open. They should be related to an issue for sure, at least. That tends to be what I do for the contribution guides and any projects I run. It's like you can't just open a PR for the fun of it. You have to open an issue first so you can actually discuss whether or not it's, it's worth working on. Um, I had that exact same thing in Gorka recently where um, we're having some more capability for like custom properties and stuff, but there was no way we were just going to throw a PR together and go for that. We'd like chat it out first in an issue. Okay, so... All right, so we're just adding a plugin. I'll nick that first. Um, yoink. We'll just try and render a view component and see what happens. Um, I've not installed any plugins yet. Plugins, okay. And then just go down to line 18. Uh, plugins, config, add plugin 11. View. Oops. Probably gonna have to rebuild. Okay, so let's see. Let's do a little test. <laughs> Testy test. So, um, so we'll just do touch SRC. Includes. We'll do. We'll do components in here. Oops. Need to make that directory first. Um. Okay. And then we'll do touch. Um. And then we'll just do test. Dot view. Here we go. See so if I can remember how to do a single file component. Hello. And script export. Oh, that's handy. I think I got that from, um, I think that's from Sarah Drasner's plugin. It's really handy. Snippets for view. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll do that as a prop. So say props and then test. I'll just do type string and let's see what goes on there. So how the hell am I going to use it then? Um, I think I'll show how to render uh, uh, view templates. So I can't just in, in, include it, unless I just... Oh, let's have a look at his test directory, see how he's done it there. Sample. All right, so he's done view as a page. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Handy. Handy. Some wacky old eyes using tabs in here. Hey, I'll get up Render's tabs. Look at the state of that. It's, it's, it's barely readable, isn't it? Um, there's a CSS property that they can use to uh, set the tab width. Um, okay. Um, right, okay, so let's just oh, I see, so he's got Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. This is fun, isn't it? Okay, so that's fine. So we'll just create a page as well. So touch SRC test page dot view. So should test page dot view template. And then I should be able to get test in there like that and then say test equals. Uh, not really clear. What chair is that? Let's confirm. Um, what's cube? CSFs. Yeah, just got cube.fyi. Um, that chair is the ergo, um, autonomous ergo. It's pretty good. Helps my um, back script. So then, do I add it inside a data then? Um, return. Uh, 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 um. Yeah, layout. Best dot NJ. Okay. Does that render anything? Mm -hmm. You try to use a layout that does not exist. <laughs> Correct. Oh, good grief, it's worked. No, no way. Let's just do um, H1 lols. Tell you what, this has worked this easily. I am on board with this. Ah, no template room. Yeah, sorry, I have to do a div test test. I need to import that component as well. Components test equals require. Uh, oops. Includes partials. I wonder if this is going to work. Is he doing components in there? Oh, there's import, yeah, from includes partials. What was it called? Test dot view. Um, hmm. No, oh, forgot to put multi stream chat on. There we go. Right. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. If you're watching on YouTube, my bad. Um. Good. Oh, this is actually uh, this is quite fun. Ah, someone's gone. Someone's gone wrong here. Includes. I guess he doesn't know where it is, does it? Uh, um, I'll tell you what. Let's just not render test for now. Let's just get. Let's just get something working. Oh, I can't believe it. It's not actually rendered anything though. Uh, in fact, let's just not have this layout as well. Um, in fact, let's see what Zachary is doing with his layout. This is uh, this is cool, isn't it? Layout and JK. Ah, get view components. Ah, so it's just content. Oh, I see. So if you do scope CSS, ah, oh, Jesus Christ, that is cool. So essentially, what what that I, I guess that is doing is if I um, I mean I don't really like doing CSS in view components to be honest. Um, 
did that and then just did like body background is uh, golden rod like that and then we'll just do layouts lol.html um, new file lol.html snip html um, fuck it and then absolute ah oh, it's just done a style tag content Grief, it's worked. Fucking hell. <laughs> that is so cool, isn't it? Data server ended. There it is. I wonder how you get the client, Chase. Inline code manager. Oh, I see. So it's 11 T assets. Man, that is cool. Hmm. Seems incredibly high risk to be building this with uh, experimental plugin, but you only you only live once. Maybe I can uh, pull on the uh, Picky Lily's gold support of 11 T and uh, harass poor Zach with issues <laughs> good grief this is uh, oh god yeah you can actually do it as well you can... Jesus should we try and get some client javascript running as well just for just for fun um single file works well blah, blah, blah. all javascript template functions uh... <laughs> that is a good point Mr. Dans, um, I am already sailing close to the wind. Say that though, I have, I have been tempted to, um, to, there's the alpha for version one. Um, I have been tempted to have a little play with that. It's apparently it is ridiculously fast. Um, so the last thing I need to do is uh, try and get this client side JS. Ah, get bundle. Is that it? Is it? I might as well give it a star while I'm here. I can already feel Zach like quitting every single possible avenue of me talking to him. <laughs> in preparation for me when I was writing the 11 course Jesus I was on it but uh, right let's see oh, I see so 11 is asset plugin lets you manage your own inline CSS or JavaScript for the first version of 11 view plugin you can reuse an existing code manager Because uh, that's what I want to. Right, customize options. Let me config cache directory, cache view style. I want that. I want the. I want the client JS. Is what I want. Zach. CSS. Right, that's fine. This is not very good telly, is it? It's just me watching uh, or, uh, 
what would be the advantage of using this over Nux? Because like eleven T's got loads of like really useful stuff built into it. I don't have to go all in. Um, for example, this is a, a view page. That's a non jux page. So you don't you don't have to go. That's one of the things that's the I think is the best feature of eleven T is that you could build your site with a multitude of different technologies. And if you work on like really, really, really big projects, that sort of capability is is so valuable because in that, like in the real world, the uh, evergreen projects just don't exist. Um, so Eleven T is really handy for that. Um, for instance, I use it on a client some client stuff that um, the main meat and potatoes of their product is running off craft CMS. Um, but the 11 stuff sort of sits aside it, does some more static output stuff and um, we can share quite a lot of code between the two projects as well. Craft uses Twig, but Twig and Nunjux incredibly similar to each other. Um, so yeah. Hopefully that answers. And JavaScript data files is worth every penny of using 11 to be honest, over everything else. Now you can do some similar stuff with Nuxt, but yeah, whatevs. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I have totally just uh, sidetracked. I don't even know how I even got onto this, to be honest. Well, there you go. It's Friday, innit? Friday is all about having fun, innit? Um, Mm -mm. I just I just want to get this this bundle, and then I'm then I'll be happy. Then we can we can get on with our lives. So that, yeah, that looks like a client bundle to me. It's just. I'm just gonna sit and play with this for the rest of the day now. Um, but you never know, I might make a tutorial for it on um, Piccadilly at some point. It's a big fan of Vue. Um, I do actually prefer um, JSX to the Vue template stuff. Um, I find the attributes a bit weird. Uh, but generally, Vue is just so much better than react in terms of just you can actually implement it on a project that already exists it's, it's got a really nice community of people um and it just seems web first whereas um react feels like it strays further and further away from the web every day with its own weird way of doing stuff like events for example Ch -ch -ch. Mm, sort of stuck here. I mean, un understandably, there's no um, documentation, really. This is all whip. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's just have a look in his test directory again. Let's do one one last one in here. I'll see if he's got um, using view data files. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I see. So data view. So includes. So I wonder why my my include wasn't working. Test page includes components test. Ah, that's why. Get that working at least. Um, so test test equals lollers. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Includes. It's there. Let's have to use. 
from doesn't know what it is, does it? The base code. You know what? I'm running out of steam here, folks. I'm uh, I'm getting hungry. I'll tell you what I'll do is if I um if I work if I play around with this a bit more, maybe I'll do a stream next week. I'll actually um do some more because if I can get this working well, I'll um is includes needed in the path. <laughs> Hacktober pizza is that just like um an empty box with a note saying, "Can you merge this?" to do pizza um yeah is the path maybe ah actually you make a valid point there dance because it, it i'm just thinking is it is it working like the typical partials um mechanism hmm what happened there uh, nah Good thinking, Batman. Yeah, so that's been a bit of a... <laughs> a box of a single piece of pineapple in it, yeah, that's it. And then, it, and then with a, an aggressive comment saying, why haven't you merged this yet? I need my t-shirt. Right, anyway, I'll look that. that. Um, I think we've, we've got some stuff done. Um, at least I've got the... Uh, on the home page, got quite a bit rendered out, and hopefully, if um, if you weren't already aware of the power of a description list element, then you should be a lot more. Uh, uh, what is it? Clued up on that because they are superbly useful um, HTML elements. Right, take it easy, everyone. I hope you have a nice weekend.